So what's the best exercises to pick and what's the best exercises to select when designing a program to help people recover from injury a lot quicker? You see there's a lot of choice out there. We could go for kind of more integrated functional based movements if we wanted. We could look at free weights, we could look at machines, we could look at doing certain isolation and activation drills. We could look at people using massage and different therapies. We could look at yoga and pilates. We could look at just getting people moving a little bit more and just get them out walking and being generally a bit more active. So there's loads of options there and sometimes it gets a bit confusing. Or well, sometimes people get very fixed and go along one path. So they go, right, every person I'm going to be re rehabilitating, or every person I want to help with their knee pain does the same thing. And this can be really problematic because we're not looking at the individual. So look at the person, look at their lifestyle, look at their goals, look at their needs, and most importantly, look at what they enjoy. Then find the exercises that suit them. Try and find movements that can fit that individual. Rather than what we tend to do is have quite a fixed-minded, dogmatic approach to our, our movement drills or exercise drills and try and make people fit those drills. So if you've got a runner and you know, they love running, they're passionate about it, but they're getting issues with, with their running in some shape or form, maybe we could pick movements that help with that style of movement. So we could start to use more integrated movement and some functional stuff around the hips and maybe some motor control around the ankles and the knees. This could be really beneficial for those types of individuals. But maybe we've got people who enjoy the more strength training and physique based and bodybuilding based stuff. They might be able to relate a lot more to free weights. They might be able to relate a lot more to muscle activation and using machines. So this might be a better approach for those types of individuals. So the skill is as a coach is to look at that person and think what's the best approach for that individual. And if we've got enough tools and enough skills, we can change our approach from individual to individual. Of course, a great way is to get a mixture of everything. And there's probably a time and a place to probably go, let's give you a little bit of motor control and let's work more on some strength-based stuff. Or let's start off with a little bit of motor control and work more on your more integrated stuff depends on that person in front of you, depends on that person is presenting with in front of you. So the goal today, guys, I just want you to take home this open-minded mindset towards the movements you pick, because we're all gonna have a certain bias on what we enjoy. But if we can take a step back and be self-aware of our bias, then we can realize there is no best exercise. We can use a multitude of movements, and ultimately you can use whatever you feel is best for that individual.